Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a logistic regression model using ChatGPT. This AI is pretty good. It'll provide us with some good basic models that you can use. So if you don't have an account with OpenAI, you can open an account and start creating your models with ChatGPT. And you'll kind of see some of the benefits and some of the, the cons of using this. It's going to provide you with very simple answers, but that is great when you see how fast and easy it is. So I'm going to ask it, can you create a model? And let's be really specific, a logistic regression model. And let's make sure we spell everything. To predict churn based on, now let's give it some features. Let's give it some numerical features first. Tenure, so how long someone's been at a company. And we want to predict that whether they're going to leave or not. Salary and department. Please provide, oh, we'll make sure, let's say it's in Python. Please provide some examples of our model performance in a table format. Now I'm making this quite complex. With probabilities, let's even say that. So we want probabilities. So it says, yes, we can handle this. So it's going to predict churn. So it's going to import the libraries that we need. SK Learn and Logistic Regression is using train test split. It's even using a confusion matrix. Um, it's using a pandas variable to read an example data. Now you see it's isolating our features in our target variable and our features were numerical. It understands that departments is a um, categorical variable and you can see what it does if one hots encode that. Now it, it split our data into train and test sets, instantiated the model, fed the model the training part of the data, and then predicted over that X test. Then it printed a confusion matrix and a classification report. So now what it did, it gave us the, the predictions there. Now what I want it to really do is feed our model three examples with the probability outputs. All right, so let's fix that spelling and let's see what we get. In a table format. So now I just wanted to see the provide some examples to the model and and see how we do. So now it's providing the tenure, the department, and the probability, the probability of whether they churn or not churn. So you can see the examples there are great. We can see someone with a tenure of uh, 24 months and a salary of 60,000 have a 53% chance of churning. And then if we can see the other examples, now what it's doing is rewriting everything so you can take that code that it's created with that model and you can see all the examples that it's feeding in and use that to copy and paste that into one of your IDEs like Jupyter Notebook or Spider. So you can see how awesome this is. I think this is super cool. I love that we can tell it to feed examples to the model and we can see a full kind of flow of creating the model, uh, breaking down those X and Y variables, creating um, some of the dummy variables using pd.getDummies, splitting up the training and test set, and fitting the model and then giving us the predictions. And lastly, what is great is it will allow us to feed examples to the model that it's already trained. I hope you thought that was pretty cool. It's something that you can definitely learn with. Please like and subscribe and comment and let me know what other things you would like to see using ChatGPT. Thank you.